All right, today is lesson 63, which is on page 200. So I need all eyes there, please, page 200. Okay, eyes on 200. Changing rates. All right, so we've done a lot of work with rates. And you know for a rate, you're going to have anything that's called a rate is a per time. So rate. We're going to keep associating in our head, it means something per time. Does anyone remember other ways to write per the month? A slash, okay? So per time, kind of sideways or directly over both, right? Okay, so those are the three ways we're going to see per. It can be written as a word, as a slash, and then in some cases, like M, P, H, that's our per right there, right? That's just P. Okay? So, a changing rate that is like what it sounds. So, if originally our rate was, let's try miles per hour, we started out in a car going 20 miles per hour, and then we upped our speed to 40 miles per hour. Destiny, what's our change in rate there? Exactly. We went from 20 to 40 miles per hour. So our change in rate is 20 miles per hour. 20 plus 20 miles per hour got us 40 miles per hour. So some of these are going to be pretty simple. Some of them are going to get a little more complicated. Pencil down, please, Jamie. Okay? So let's kind of look at some examples and talk through some of this stuff, okay? Um, quick rewind. We know rate means per time, but there are going to be some cases where you've got other things happening. We call that a ratio, right? Okay, so you might sometimes have a changing ratio, or mainly going to have changing rates. So don't let those confuse you, okay? So, Prince Charming traveled 60 leagues in two days. Okay, so let's start with that piece of information. So, Porsche, 60 leagues in two days. How would I write that as a rate? He traveled 60 leagues in two days. I need to write down my rate. So, <coughs> 60? Hold on, you said 62 leagues? 60. Oh, 60 leagues for the arrow or whatever you want to. For the look. Per slash. Per, good. Um, which one? <laughs> per two days. Two days. So two days. Two and days. Two and days. Now, one thing we haven't always done, but I want us to start doing is when we see this rate, let's get it as simple as we possibly can to start with. So I want you to keep doing that for me. How do you make this simpler? Well, we can just take 2 into 60. Okay, and then you're going to get what? 30. Okay, so what am I going to write as my new... 30 leagues over 2 days. 30 leagues over... 2 days. Careful. 2 days. Careful. 2 days. Careful. Two days. Careful. Two you changed 60 to 30. How'd you do that? You told me you divided it by 2. So this 60 got crossed off and became 30. this so 2 a 1. So what would go underneath? 30 leagues one. per, exactly, per one day. day. Okay? So 30 leagues per day. So there is our rate. We figured it out. We simplified it because we need it per one unit of time. Okay? So that one unit is right there. That's that invisible one that we talked about. Or we can put them in. Okay? Put him in parentheses. All right. Then it tells us he doubled his rate. So, Jamaica, if he doubles his rate now, instead of going 30 leagues per one day, and he doubles his rate, how many leagues is he going to go per day? 60. Okay. So, doubled really means times two, right? Two doesn't have any units, so our units stay the same. So, our new rate is 60 leagues per <coughs> one day, okay? Now it asks, how long would it take him to go 300 leagues at his new speed? Okay, so Damon, if we've got our new speed, okay, this is our old speed. So what I like to do, and what I want you guys to do, is label this one old. Label your new rate new, okay? Now, Damon, what's the extra piece of information we're given here that we know is going to go in our kind of plus sign table? He 
doubled his rate, how long would it take him to go 300 leagues at his new speed? Three, 300 leagues, good. Okay, so 300, whoops, leagues is a funny word to spell. Okay, so 300 leagues. Okay, and now Destiny, we said we're going to use which rate? The new one, exactly. So 30 leagues is on top. How am I going to plug my new rate into the second part of my table here in order to figure out how, how long it took him? Switch it around. So what goes up here? A day. Good. And what goes at the bottom? 60 L leagues. Okay? And then we can do our math. Can we simplify 360, Porsche? Um, 365 days. Careful, 300. Leagues. Oh, 300. Oh. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is the math. so we're going to go back. We're going to use that. That little bar, that's going to use times. This one means that, times. That means divide. This means divide. And what you to do? I want you to simplify the numbers we've got here. Um, let's simplify. Yep. So, 60 goes into. They both end in what? Leagues. They both end in. Legs. Zero. Zero. So if they both end in zero, we can do a power of ten, divide by ten, and we can simplify it up. Yep, and that means we can do what? Thirty. Um, Who we'll cut them zeros off? Exactly. Let's cut those zeros off. Now you have thirty divided oh, by six. Is that a an easy number? Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Six becomes five. Six becomes. One. 1, 30 becomes 5, so my answer is 5 leagues. Careful. Leagues cancels. 5 days. Good. So, this is all of our work for number, for example, 1. Okay? we got to show all of that. That's showing our work. What do we do? The attitude. <laughs> if we're going to grumble under our breath, ma'am, I don't need to hear that, okay? That's what I'm calling an attitude. If you don't want to call it the same word, that's all right. But put that away, please. Okay? It's all about showing your work in math. We know that's what happens in math class. If you don't like it, I understand. It's not fun, but that's what's required, okay? Okay? All right. So. 60 leagues per two days, we simplified it with our old rate, we doubled it to get our new rate, we've got our piece of information that's extra, plug it into our little table, use our new rate to get our answer. Questions on that? Any questions? Feel good about it? We've got another example, okay? So, let's erase this one and do our second example. So, second example, Jamika, the machine could cap 500 bottles in two hours. So let's start by writing down our initial rate. How would you rate that? Write down our rate, 500 bottles in two hours. How am I going to write that down? Think about 50 cents. How do you get 50 cents? You divide it by 2, Porsche. Yeah. Huh? Porsche. We get 50 cents. I'm just covering up the zero. 2 into oh, 50. 25. And then add the zero back. So? 250. 250 what? Bottles. Finish it off. 
per hour. Per hour. Good. All right. Two bitty bottles per hour. So that is our what kind of rate, Jamon? What kind of rate is this? Two options. It's our old rate. Okay, so old is our label. Label it old. Okay, it tells us for our new rate, if the rate of the machine were tripled, how many bottles could be capped? So, Destiny, if it's tripled, what does that mean we're going to do to our old rate? Okay, go for it. If it's tripled, what are you going to get? 750 what? 750 what per hour? Bottles, good. Alright, so for shit, we now know our new rate, so let's label him a big new. Okay, it asks with our new rate, how many bottles could be capped in 10 hours? Okay, so we've got our. It's going to be even because we know that number ends in zero. Okay. So, so what am I going to put right here? Right there. Hold on. Five. I'm going to put right here. Hold up. What are we at? This 250 is bottles we're still with that? No. no, this is our old rate. We're kind of getting rid of him. Once okay. we get our new rate, we don't have to worry about him. Bottles. Okay, but look at the piece of information you're given. This is our new rate, but I need to know how many bottles could be capped in 10 hours. So that's what we're trying to figure out. How many bottles could be capped in 10 hours? This is how many bottles I can cap per hour. Okay, but so I we know need to that in the Okay, but that's what we need to figure out in our table. That's why we write down with our table to make sure that we're plugging our rate in correctly. You are correct, but I want you to show me mathematically why you're correct. It said this. Okay, okay, so what goes here though? 10. 10, 10 what? I think my hours. 10, it tells bottles, you hours. Bottles. Good. Okay, and then your rate is going to stay the way that it was. That's what you told me, right? Yeah. Why? Hmm. Why? Why well, I say it? I say it what? You said you were going to multiply 10 hours by this oh, rate. Because the way you we have just it. told me that um, I need to figure out. Okay, since we already we have a piece of information, we know that 750 um, is bottles for one hour, so we need 10 hours, so we can just multiply that up. Okay, so the way I'm asking your question might not make sense, but hours, why are you putting the rate this way instead of flipping it like we did for the last one? But why? Look at your units. So you said I'm wrong? You're not wrong. We're just not quite going where I want you to go yet. We just want to know why. Yeah. Why? Why? I don't know. I can't help you. It's all about why. the units, right? If hours is on top here, where do you need hours to be on when you plug in your rate? The bottom. Exactly. And that's how you have it already, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I mean. We need our units to cancel, so that's why you left it this way. That's what I was getting at. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's why we put 750 bottles per hour so that our hours can cancel, right? Okay, now, what kind of math are you going to do? I'm going to make you finish it. We can just add a little zero. Add a little zero because this line means? 7,500. That line 7, means multiply them. Multiply them and your units are going to be? Bottles. Bottles, good. Okay, exactly. We've got our original reduced, our old rate. We tripled it to get our new rate. Porsche plugged it in, our new rate, to figure out how many bottles we could bottle in 10 hours. Okay, good job. One more example. Two hours. Destiny, start me off. What do I write? Six miles. Six miles. So you want me to write in two hours like this? Per two hours. So let's do our per like this. Okay. And then what do we do next, Porsche? What do we do next? What's next? You're next. <laughs> and then you just went. Um, Call them randomly. Everybody's got to go to toes. What do we do next? For that real, like, 
Practice problems. 